As you can tell, it's raining like crazy. Hello, minivanners. This is Linda. Thanks for watching Go Minivan. I want to tell you my experience with renting a car from Alamo. We're with Alamo. We're in sunny San Diego on a Christmas week with a full family vacation. It was like a miracle in the making. It was very fun. And we went with Alamo. And I just wanted to do like a feature review. I know we rent cars all the time, but have you ever really thought about, you know, actual rental cars and maybe being loyal to one? I'm, I'm, I'm not loyal to Alamo or anything. I'm just, I'm just making a conscious choice to see how it is. So we got the, um, the Dodge Caravan. It looks like it's at least a 2016 model. It is completely black leather interior. I'll show you around. Sorry, the light might, might be white balancing on and off. It's leather interior, a stealth black. The driver seat has two large dash meters. The, the odometer is a speedometer, the gas. Uh, the stick shift is right up near on top of the dashboard instead of being below or behind the steering wheel. Uh, the front screen console has the large screen with navigation and radio. There's also wonderful seat heaters. I love heated seats. They are so nice. And uh, comes with the, the cigarette lighter as well as an additional 12 volt DC charger. A couple of cup holders. Uh, two nice glove compartment boxes. So those are nice in case you know you have one space but you have an extra space on top. Uh, and then the door, the doors are, to open the side doors are up on top here. And a Honda minivan that's up on the side over there. As you can tell it's raining like crazy. And a nice remote control that handles unlock, lock, the trunk, um, and also the doors. But what does this one do? There's a, I don't know what this one does, that button there. There is on top here, this is the rear controls for the rear temperatures. And there's no, there's no screen here, but I believe you could put anything up here. You could put even more screens up here for kids to watch. Some nice lights here. Another storage unit on top here. And even more storage unit on top here. Tell me what you think. If you have those storage units on top, what are some good things to put on top there? It could be screens, it could be um, important papers, it could be chargers, electronics, uh, maybe first aid kit up there. That would be a, a good idea to put up there. Uh, in the typical third row seat, but I do want to show you the back. There's some nice cup holders on the side. Well, the back has, um, I kind of like the back. It's a little bit deeper and I feel like it's just a, a smidge in uh, longer as well. So we fit uh, quite a bit of luggage and we had a ton uh, and at one point we had to put another car seat really quickly there too. So there was ample space in the rear cargo. And I love rear cargos. I have seen some older minivans that that rear cargo is, there's nothing in there. There's little, little space. It's almost like a hindrance because you can't put things in there. So you have to put things in the front or in like the middle row seat. So I, I like this Dodge Caravan rental car from Alamo. Just wanted to give you the quick feature tour. Here's one more look around. Now this is my story. I'll always remember the story and I want to warn you, I guess. Last year, 2017, we also went to Southern California, to California, rented a car, reserved a car, and guess what? The ramp was empty. There was, there was like the 15 passenger van, like one or two of those, and that was it. And there was people coming in more and more and more. So they overbooked, over-reserved, Granted, it was also the holiday season. 
all the cars were taken and people were getting quite upset there were customers lining up and they even like shook the car attendant where's my car i need a car this was like about midnight coming in from a late flight with families people are tired they just want that car and drive to the destination it's such a a, a relief factor and to know that your car there's no car period they were so upset and we were upset too luckily there was like a couple of those trucks with a huge cab and we had a squeeze in there i mean we, we just stuck all of our stuff in there we put our luggage in the, the the truck bed and we squeezed into the truck it was un uncomfortable it, but luckily we had a car too but it wasn't you know it wasn't what we chose even though we made a reservation so just be careful what you, what happens during holiday seasons you might not have a lot of cars left but luckily with alamo this time there was cars galore the whole parking lot was filled lots of minivans and lots of other cars and even some little cute sports cars like those mini coopers so so far alamo i might uh, continue sticking with you through Expedia or through those affiliate websites as long as you you know provide cars one thing I noticed too was the person at who took our registry was you know typical just working but when we went to go to the parking ramp the person who was gonna lead us to our car he came out like hi I shook a hand hi how are you you ready for your car and he was really hospitable and I really remember that so um, that's it that's my car rental story so far thanks Alamo and I'm in sunny San Diego, even though it's raining right now. But let me know what you think. Is a car rental any big deal for you? Have you ever had a car horror story with rental cars? And is there any rental cars that you specifically stay loyal to? Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your comments below. And if you like what you see, hit the like button, subscribe, and tell like one friend about Go Minivan. I make videos in my minivan. In this case a rental minivan and i hope you guys like it and continue watching thank you so much and i'll see you on the next ride bye bye